Today we're going to go over editing points. So once we have our graphic, we need to put it into the point editing mode. There's two ways you can accomplish this. Once, by double clicking, which you may have done and seen these points come up. Or once you have your graphic selected, you can go over here to your edit point modes. And you notice once I go into the edit point nodes, all the points appear. Now my cursor will change when I'm around, when I'm near a point to a little line with a point. If I want to select that point, you'll notice it selects the point turns white and a red line appears. That way I can manipulate this line and this point. If I want to move my point around, I'll go ahead and select it and right click and I can move my cursor to move my point. I can select multiple points by selecting my point, going to my other point, hitting shift and right clicking. And you'll notice I have two points that are white, so they're both selected. Now I can grab my point and I can, I can manipulate both the points or multiple points at the same time. If I want to add a point to a line, go towards the line where you want your point, you notice your cursor will change to an arrow with a straight line and I just right click and I now have a new point that I can manipulate. If I want to delete that point, I can do the same thing by selecting that point. I can right click and delete point or I can come over here and delete my point. If I want to delete multiple points, select my first point, hold my shift, select all the multiple points that I want to delete. Let's try that again. Select all the points that I want to delete and then come over here and just delete your points. Now we're going to talk about making points smooth or curved points and lines. If you notice this point here selected, you'll notice it's a corner point. If I hit smooth, it seems nothing's happening. However, if I go, I have this line selected and I make it a curve, you'll notice these little antennas come out. What these antennas will do is will allow you to manipulate the curve of the line. The edge of this antenna will determine where the arc of your curve is and how far out you want your arc to go. Now remember we talked about the smoothness. If I change this to smooth two antennas will pop out. Now these will always stay in a straight line, but this will allow you to smooth that corner out because if it's not cornered, you will notice I still have a tight corner here, but once I smooth it, it rounds that corner off. So now I can manipulate the intersection of that point. Now we're going to discuss breaking a path of a line. You notice these lines are connected. This line, this point is selected. I'm going to break the path. Once I break the path, you'll notice this point is now turned to a red circle. I can separate my lines. Now, if I want to break another path, I can change my shape altogether. And I can bring these two points together to create a totally different shape. And you notice once they come together, the red dots disappear and it becomes a completed shape with just a solid point. Now on your screen, this may appear as two different shapes. However, uh, the software still sees this as one shape. So when I go to click and select, you'll notice they're together. I can separate these shapes by right-clicking 
and releasing my compound path. And now I have two different shapes and I can manipulate them individually. At some point in time when you're editing points, you're going to run across a situation where you're trying to bring two shapes together or you're trying to connect two shapes. In the editing points mode, I'm going to go through how to connect these shapes. I've tried for hours and I'm going to teach you, I'm going to save you a lot of heartache um, in doing this. Once I break my path of both my shapes, you may want to try and connect lines. And that might be a little difficult because this program sees this as two different shapes. And you may think you've brought your shapes together by doing so. And it may appear that they are now one shape. However, the program still sees it as two different shapes and is not going to let you do certain things like filling it. So if I selected my shape and tried to fill, you'll notice nothing happens. So you may think, oh, I need to bring these shapes together, so let me just make them a compound path or weld them. Well, what happens when I try to make it a compound path? It still seems as one shape, but you'll notice when I go to fill it, nothing happens. Now, when I double click to edit my points, you'll notice these points are not together. So therefore, it's still not a completed path. So something you can do in order to um, bring them together is once you've gone through these process, you can reconnect them and you notice they come. Uh, they become connected. Now I can fill. Now, if I know in advance I want to bring these two shapes together, what I can do is select my first shape hit my shift button, select my second shape, and then make it a compound path. Now the program sees it as one shape, so when I go to edit points, you will notice points on both shapes appear. And then I can edit this as one shape um, altogether, so I can bring the two pieces together quite quickly. Back, sorry, didn't grab it right. Oh, need to break path. Notice when I bring them together, they automatically are going to connect. And there you have it. That's your point editing. Oh, one more thing I wanted to discuss with you. Sometimes when you do a design, you have all of these extra points that you find unnecessary. You can simplify. However, I rarely use this because I find it just doesn't do what I want it to do. It is by selecting my shape at any point in time and hitting the simplify button. button and it removes the majority of the points and kind of smooths them out. Um, Again, I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to private message me. Thanks.